first comment. This is to uh, Dr. Hartnett, Dr. O'Keefe. Your program is misnamed. It should be the anti-aging program for old executives. <laughs> Write that down. Um, I, out of guilt for having not participated in the first two years, uh, trying to swallow a merger and get everything lined up, I had passed and Sherry called me and that guilt had built to a level I'd seen my peers in the community doing this and it was not a hard sell and I said yes ma'am sign me up and, and it's been a fantastic experience for me. Um, I inherited or was assigned a young man who I started to tell my story to and I told him I showed up here at UWF as a disheveled lost soul in 1971. I had come out of Washington and Lee University losing a full scholarship uh, to my 2.0 grade point average. I, I was thinking I was in the major leagues and that was a good ERA, um, but um, came, showed, up here at, showed up here at UWF and uh, went into the accounting program. Dr. Committee took me under his shoulder and under his wing and he said, I've seen your test scores and you're just being a goof off. If you want to straighten out, uh, this is the place we'll help you. I then started to tell him my story about life was tough when I was here and I, uh, my little boy, first child was born on May 30th of my junior year. I was missing my money and, my money and banking finance exam, final semester exam, but the professor of money and banking was sitting on my left it was the last time before they let the daddies in the delivery room, and so here we were in the father's waiting room, and me and the professor, uh, <laughs> and he said, you're okay. I told him how much I worked and worked two job, worked a job with working down at Barnett Bank in junior year, worked uh, from 11 at night till 7 in the morning, and senior year from 3 in the afternoon till midnight, and then I shut up and I listened to Cole. Cole has two children, he is working two jobs uh, and is taking a load of hours that would blow your mind. When I understood seeking the double major you mentioned and how many hours per semester he's taking, I, I said, I'm going to just be quiet. I'm going to learn from Cole. Uh, <laughs> he's truly an amazing, amazing individual. Um, I've not seen, it's, it's refreshing because you hear in our circles, oh, the next generation, they don't have what we have, they don't work like we work. Um, not true, it may be true in pockets, but I've been living for a year with an example that inspires me for where our country's going, where people who come from Japan and wanna move here and live here and be part of what we're doing, what that means to our country to have this kind of program, these kind of people that are being put out in the world. And it's been a fantastic experience for me. I, it was pretty unstructured. Uh, Cole would come down and be ready with some questions, but the problem was I'd be on the phone with a client and it was our time to talk. And I'd say, client, if you don't mind, Cole's coming in to join us. There was one particular one that happened over more than one meeting. This was a, a long transaction. It was a purchase of a $90 million uh, uh, purchase price on a company over in Italy, 400 employees. And I just asked the, uh, the other side of the conversation, uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna put you on speaker. I've got somebody I want to hear listen to this. It was a little sensitive, but um, they didn't mind. It was my son. Um, <laughs> but, but on more than one occasion, because it lasted so long, Cole helped craft that deal, all right? We, we were negotiating back and forth, advising, do this, do that. And it was, a, it was an interesting education for me. I know you enjoyed it. and. Uh, I will just tell you, next year call me, I'll be back, I'll do it again. Um, this, this is uh, good to keep us young, that's all I'll tell you. Thank you.